Hey friends, this is Ramakant Dadichi and you're watching Fitness Geek. Uh, in today's video, we will be uh, going through the Power BI flow. So if you are implementing Power BI in your organization or in your small, you know, startups, you want Power BI, you know, to be your reporting solution, how it all works and how you can actually, you know, uh, implement that. So we'll be just looking into a basic uh, you know architectural diagram where you will see how you use the power bi desktop and how you publish your reports and then how it is actually you know served to the end users so for example you have a small organization with uh, five to ten users and you want to make sure that you are using power bi for your uh, reporting purpose uh, you have a few data sources and all the data sources uh, you know you don't have the bandwidth to actually create you, you know a data mart or something so you can utilize the power bi uh, to create the data mart inside or a data hub or you can you know in cre create a data model within the power bi service and then just serve your end users so we'll be just looking into uh, the basic architectural flow how it all works so let's dive into it. So if you see my screen, this is a basic Power BI flow. On the left hand side, you see all our data sources. You use those data sources in your Power BI desktop. So now Power BI desktop is a desktop application. It's available for free. So you don't have to pay for it. Uh, you can just download it and you know, you can start connecting to your resource uh, data sources and you can use that to create all your reports the problem comes when you want to actually share that report with others so uh, you can get a free license with it or the licensing is a bit of a uh, complex part uh, for all all the microsoft products uh, power bi is also a you know not that complex but it is it, it has made some uh, changes in the last few years to make sure that everyone can leverage the power of Power BI. So for this simple diagram, what I have done is you can leverage the Power BI premium per user. For example, if I'm an organization, if it was my organization and I have got like five people who need to see the report and I'm the one who's creating the report, what I would do is I would get a Power BI premium per user for six of us. So it would be like 16 pounds per month for five people. And I will be the one who will create the workspace in Power BI service, which is a cloud service. So Power BI desktop and Power BI service are two separate entities. Power BI desktop is where I will be, you know, on my laptop. I would be creating the reports, I would be connecting to all the data sources, uh, be it a Excel file or be it a SQL server or any of the data sources, be it SAP or, you know, anything. I link uh, or I just connect to those sources from my Power BI desktop. I create my report and when I think it is ready to be published, I publish my report into Power BI service. So before that, I would set up my Power BI premium per user workspace. I'll add the other four people whom I have already assigned Power BI premium per user license. So all of them now are added to the workspace where I'll be publishing my reports. To note, we are talking about a small organization. When it's an enterprise and there's a, you know, a lot of budget, so you can just go for Power BI premium capacity and then all the organization users who have a free license attached can view the reports once they are published from a premium user or a premium, uh, you know, a premium or pro license holder. But that's something for a different video. We will not be talking about that in this one. Today, I'm talking specifically for a, a small organization. So uh, yeah, the scenario was five people. Uh, I got them uh, Power BI premium per user. And then I created a workspace, which is my Power BI service. It's a cloud cloud service. Uh, so 
I create a workspace, I add all my users into the workspace. So they can now uh, view what's happened, like if they want, uh, I can, you know, uh, give them the permissions to uh, whether whether to read or you can, they, they, I can make them admins. So those roles are back control I can have. So once I'm done with that, I'll start creating reports. I connect to my resources, the data sources. I create my report and then I publish it. So once I publish it, it gets published into the Power BI service. And from Power BI service, I will be able to share the link or the URL of my reports directly with the users. And there again, I can control what they can exactly do. I can make sure they can only read the reports or they can share it or they can actually edit the reports. I can do those kind of RBACs, so role based access controls. So yeah, this is a small scenario. Uh, I'll keep it quick. We will be doing these kind of things in future. But for today, this is a short solution, Power BI reporting solution for a very small organization where they don't have lots of data engineers or data analysts and there's like data scientists or who can play with the data. Uh, they have a lot of data to handle. Uh, in that case, it's a complete different solution. But for a very small organization, five to six people who want to see the report, what's happening in their organization, they have some data to analyze and have some sort of reporting other than the Excel sheets that gets shared around. So yeah, this is a very good solution for that. Can be secured, can be uh, you know made uh, very secure. Uh, you can make sure you're not hitting all those uh, you know public endpoints and all, all those things those are you know a very wider discussion but in a whole for smaller organizations this should work this sh this will work and there will be no issues and yeah you can go ahead with pro as well but power bi premium uh, per user has a lot of advantages uh, it has got a uh, data mart that's uh, you know available and also if you have got some azure sql databases then you you're getting a VNet gateway that you can leverage, which is also managed service. So all those, you know, uh, power comes with the Power BI premium per user, but you can also deal with, you can also, you know, work with the pro license. Again, same uh, to view the reports. Everyone will need the same Power BI pro license. Uh, if it's a Power BI premium workspace, everyone who wants to view that report will need to have the Power BI premium license attached to them. So yeah, this was a quick, just a quick talk about a solution that uh, I have implemented in the past uh, in one of the startups. And this is a solution that can probably help you to, you know, make sense of your data and do some sort of reporting of your data. And yeah, so Power BI, good stuff. So yeah, yeah, I hope you like this quick shot uh, video on a Power BI solution for a startup. Uh, please let me know uh, your feedback. Do do write uh, in the comments. And if you have any, you know, uh, requests or if you want me to make videos on something, do write to me. Uh, I'll share my email address. Uh, you can also connect on LinkedIn. And yeah, thanks a lot and keep supporting. Bye bye.